from Bath Garden Center. Today I'm going to be talking about how to repot an African violet. Um, a lot of people have African violets. They're really fun. They're really pretty. But um, they are going to need more of a specific kind of care than your average house plant that blooms. So um, I've got my African violet here. This is going to be an African violet pot. It's really just specific to African violets because um, the kind of concept of this is that you pull the top out this bottom part here is not glazed whatsoever, so it's really good for just absorbing moisture. And um, you keep this filled up with water. Once you plant your plant, it's gonna allow to start absorbing the moisture through it without getting any um, water on the leaves. Getting water on your African violet leaves is not a good thing. Um, they'll start dropping their leaves and they really need the most leaves they ha they can have just to keep photosynthesizing and keep providing energy pushing towards uh, more blooming so this allows for that without getting any water on the leaves they are going to need a specific potting soil so i've got some african uh, violet potting soil from espoma it's an organic soil it's not necessarily like important to use an organic soil but this is if you have a preference um, so you want to stick with that. As far as fertilizing, um, they're also going to have a specific fertilizer. We've got some just your regular African violet fertilizer. It's got 7107 as your numbers to kind of keep blooming and foliage growth. Um, there's also organic brands. These are going to be your concentrates that you're going to dilute into your gallon of water and then fertilize as you're watering. You're not going to want to fertilize every day, so please make sure that you're reading the back of your instru instructions and you're fertilizing properly. If you are fertilizing, um, it's not going to be like your typical fertilization where you just go from the top and it kind of absorbs it. You're still going to want to add your fertilizer um, through the bottom of the pot. Make sure it is diluted and you're following the directions um, because it's going to be sitting in this and you don't want to over fertilize because that could kill your plant. Um, so yeah, just make sure that you have your dilution uh, properly put together and that it's not going to be sitting in fertilizer for too long. So over here I've got my African violet soil. Um, and then as far as taking this out, you're going to want to be very, very caref careful. These leaves break off really easily. So pinch the bottom to kind of help loosen it up and pull from the very bottom of your leaves. And then it'll just come right out really nicely. So just kind of check for the fit of your African violet to the pot. Make sure that there's at least just an inch or two um, around it. So it's not too big, not too small. I'm going to take a little bit of this and sprinkle it at the bottom of the pot, kind of give it a little extra layer down there, a little cushion, and then I'm going to sit this right on top. Then you just keep taking your African violet soil and just gently, carefully put it on the sides, kind of push it through. Still be careful with not breaking your leaves because they are so fragile. And you're just gonna keep on adding soil until it's all full. And you wanna make sure that when you're potting it that you're using your fingers to kind of stick the soil really nicely in the sides. You don't wanna do it too tight. You don't wanna keep it constricted and make it hard for the, for the root system to kind of travel. So keep it fluffy, but also make sure there's no air holes or space left um, in the soil. As you water as well, um, if you don't press down your soil, you're going to find that the soil is just going to sink down and you're going to need more soil and it's not going to look quite right. All right, so shake it off a little bit and then you add your water. Um, these, these pots come with holes so you can add the water through there. You don't want to fill the whole thing up because once you put this in here, it's just going to spill all the water out of it. So just uh, monitor how much you're watering. Make sure that it's still enough that it can absorb the water through that pot, but not too much to kind of spill over. So as far as when to repot an African violet, it's not going to be like kind of like your regular house plant that has a drainage hole. Um, you 
this one doesn't have a drainage hole, so you can't tell if the roots are getting too big or if they're coming out, which is your usual eyeball for wintry pot. African violets will kind of tell you and show you when they're, when they're gonna need to be repotted. They'll kind of droop a little bit. They might turn like a little bit yellow in leaves because they're just so tight in there. Um, so just pay attention to that. They're not super, super fast growers, so you're not gonna need to repot as often as um, maybe some of the more fast growing plants. On average, it's gonna be in a pot for a while. It could be two to three years, something like that. I've personally had an African violet in the same pot for two years about. If you're gonna have a plant in a pot for a while like that, you're still gonna wanna freshen up that soil, not keep that old soil there all the time. So um, like maybe once every like year, you could kind of give it some fresh soil or fluffing. But um, yeah, so just pay attention to that and it could be a long time before you have to repot something, but just pay attention to how it's reacting. So that is how you pot an African violet and that's how you take care of it. Thanks again for watching this video. Um, if you have any questions, please let us know. We're more than happy to talk about plants with you. Thank you.